What's up, Springfield? Welcome to the Springfield Arts Council Lawn Chair Lounge. Things look a lot different this year for us, but we're still excited to bring quality programming to each and every one of you this summer. I'm with the Clark County Springfield Transportation Coordinating Committee. We've been partnering with the Springfield Arts Council for a number of years to bring you quality entertainment. Clark County TCC is pleased to serve Clark County as your Metropolitan Planning Organization for 55 years. One of the things we like to promote when we get involved with the uh, Springfield Arts Council is our air quality and our ride share program. Please be sure to check us out at careforyourair.org for more information or clarktcc.com. We want you to know that we miss being in the park this year, but they've got a great lineup for you uh, for the remainder of this year, and we hope to see you next year. Welcome to the Springfield Arts Council Lawn Chair Lounge and the Youth Arts Ambassador production of Sticky Note. Hey everybody, my name is Luca Padaban. You may know me from Broadway's Newsies or School of Rock or the Netflix series You. And I'm so excited to introduce the premiere production of Sticky Note, written by Eleni Lenardos with music by Tim Compton. Eleni and Tim are two members of the Springfield Arts Council's Youth Arts Ambassadors who have been working tirelessly on writing this show for the last year. Originally written to be performed on stage at the 2020 Summer Arts Festival, Eleni and Tim, with the help of their Youth Arts Ambassadors mentors and peers, have spent the last few months adapting this story to work as a Zoomsicle. It's been an interesting journey to get to this final product, but the entire Youth Arts Ambassadors team has worked hard to make sure that this virtual production is successful and accessible to people all over. So without further ado, I invite you to sit back and relax on your couch or wherever you may be and enjoy the Springfield Arts Council Youth Arts Ambassadors world premiere of Sticky Note. Enjoy. Nothing. It's just the first day of school, that's all. It'll be fun, I'm sure of it. Oh yeah, I'm positive. At least I'll get to hang out with Luna more. I miss you already. Miss you too, bye. Hey mom, I'm gonna head out, okay? Mom? Look at you, I'm so proud. Of you. you got another egg on your chest. I could not be happier for you. I love you. Oh, uh huh. Love you too. Ha uh ha. -huh. Let her try us for football, sport. I don't know. Soon, I guess. Well, find out first thing. You need to start preparing as soon as possible. Do I have to play sports? I don't really want to. Absolutely. We've gone over this. We cannot afford to send you to college, so you have to get a scholarship in sports. Besides, if it were up to me, you wouldn't even be at that fancy art school. Mom? Listen to your father, honey. Stepfather. Remember what we talked about. Only hang out with one other person so you have plenty of time to study. In this family, we only get straight A's. And if you fail, then you won't get into a good college, and that's completely unacceptable. Right, dear? Right, Mom. Have a wonderful first day. You too. You make me proud. Yeah. Uh, what were you writing? Oh, well, it's nothing. You should be getting ready for school. Do I have to? Yes. Maybe it'll be better this year. I doubt it. Just... Try and look on the bright side. At least try. Yeah, I'll, I'll try. It's 
early for that stupid piano. It's too early to be awake. Bye, Mom. I am so excited we're back at school again. Summer wasn't the same without you. I know, right? I missed you so much. You know, I was thinking, now that we're back at school, we can pick back up on that song we were working on before summer vacation. It was sounding really good where we left off. That would be awesome. I can't wait to get back in the groove again. Um, uh, hi, Gwen. <laughs> hey, AJ. What's up? You know, nothing much. Uh, you? Same here. Well, uh, see you later. Uh, bye. Oh, gosh, I'm so sorry. Don't worry about it. Hey, this is a nice poem. He's going to make for some great song lyrics. You really think so? Yeah, you know, I'm a writer. We could be a pretty good team. What do you say? Want to be partners this year? Sure. That would be awesome. Um, I'm Eva, by the way. And Titus. It's a pleasure to meet you, Titus. Um, I have some other poems in there, too, if you'd like. Oh, so what's the master plan this year? We can finish talking later. Mr. Kaler. Um, Gwen Hazeldine? Present. Okay. Uh, huh. Evangel... Evangeline... No. Uh, Miss LaBelle? Um, yeah, it's Evangelina, but you can just call me Eva. Yeah, that will do just fine. Titus Common? Yeah, I'm here. So, what's the master plan this year? Well... I want to work on my lyrics and maybe a song or two. So, class, I hope you all have a wonderful day and I will see most of you later. <laughs> You would be, too. Remember that one time in, like, the seventh grade when you and I hacked the school's computer system and changed everyone's grades to A's? Yes! I still can't believe we didn't get caught! <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Those were the good old days. I miss those days. Why did we stop hanging out? I don't know. Probably because I do sports now. There's no time for computer coding and hour-long coffee breaks to make your life seem to go away for a bit. We have to think about the future now. There's no time for... My family can't afford to send me to college, so 
I have to get a scholarship in sports. Well, you can get a scholarship for being smart, too. Yeah, I know, but that's how my almighty stepfather thinks. Oh, well, who needs them? Oh, uh, I'd better get to class. Yeah, I probably have class, too. Goodbye, Albert Johannes. Goodbye, Gwenny. The outside is green. I have no ideas. Perfection. No, that's no good. About. I have no idea. Who is it? Who is it? The mystery unsolved. We're all sitting so interested in the summer solved. Who is it? Who is it? Hey, Eva, Titus, what's going on up there? Someone wrote some genius lyrics on some sticky notes. Genius is an understatement. I wish I could have written something like these. Who is it? Wow, it's really impossible to even see it with everyone up there. I wonder Perfection is the only acceptable way. But how can we strive to be perfect when the pressures of life chain us to the ground? Break the chain. How can we be better if all your friends hold you back? Drag them up with you even if you think you aren't good enough. Remember, no one is perfect, and no matter what anyone else says, you're always perfect in the eyes of at least one person. project from me. It's a big project, so I will be putting you into groups of six. The project is your group will have to work together to write a musical. Isn't it exciting? I will ensure that in both groups there is at least one person who knows how to write music, lyrics, and an actual story. I will give you plenty of time in class to finish it. I will split the room into two so there are equal groups. Eva, Titus, Piper, Luna, Gwen, and AJ are group one, and Axel, Ash, Nora, Paisley, Jax, and Hope are group two. The first draft is due in a month. You have the rest of class to brainstorm. This is so exciting! Yeah, so what do you guys know about writing? Okay, so how about Eva and I write some songs with lyrics, and then we'll show them to the rest of you guys and see if we can make a story out of it. Wait, shouldn't we write the story before the music, or, you know? Maybe, and... Uh, never mind. Okay, perfect. Let's meet again soon. Working or do you think we could just put this all off? Are you stupid? This is a huge project. Not only will it define us as writers, but there's not even that much time until the first draft is due. Of course we'll put it off. No sweat. Hey, uh, can I ask you something? Of course. Anything. What is it? Well, what would you do if your parent, I mean, Someone in your life forced you to be something or to do something you didn't want to be. I don't know. Knowing me, I'd probably go along with it. That's basically my life. But I think you should protest. Explain to your stepdad that you don't want to play sports anymore. Wait, how'd you know? 
The AJ I know would rather eat dirt than be a big buff sports guy. You know what? I think I'm gonna tell him tonight. I mean, it, it'll probably be a scream fest, but do you think maybe you'll come over and tell him with me? Of course I will. We can walk to your house after school, okay? Okay. My lady. Thank you, kind sir. A true friend is someone who will always love you, the imperfect, confused, and quirky you, because that's what people are supposed to do. Ugh, who would have thought writing musical would be so difficult? Seriously. So, do you have any lyrics yet? Uh, no. Do you have any music? Okay, okay. Point taken. What if one of the songs were a little bit like this? I get it. Life is hard. Not sure why it's even worth it to try, but if you pick yourself up, it'll all be worth it in the end. <laughs> and when you're losing hope, put out your hand, I'm there for you. I'll stay by your side until our bitter end. Even when the road to success may be long, may take days or weeks to get there. It's worth the waiting and fighting. Trust me, you just need to keep trying. Keep trying. Keep trying. Yeah, it ain't easy. The hardships of life keep knocking you down. It may seem impossible, but just get back up again. So sure, the world may end, but that doesn't mean our stories do. They're thick and thin, I will help you up again. Even when the road to success may be long, it may take days and weeks to get there. It's worth the waiting and fighting, trust me, you just need to keep trying. Keep trying, keep trying. will come if you keep on trying hang out tight and don't let go i swear we're gonna make it just trust me that we'll make it keep trying keep trying keep trying yeah that's yeah, perfect Hey, can I tell you something? Yeah, anything. What is it? Um, yes, yeah, so I'm the one writing all the sticky notes. I threw them away because I thought they were bad, but I guess someone found them a lot better than I did. Wow, that's great. Uh, who else knows? Are you planning on telling anyone else? I'm not sure. Maybe you shouldn't. Just leave it a fun little mystery only the two of us know. Before we begin today, I have collected one of the popular sticky notes from the hallway. One of the greatest challenges in life is trying to be yourself in a world that's trying to make you just like everyone else. Well, life isn't about finding yourself, it's about creating yourself. I would love to compliment the genius who wrote these beautiful lyrics. Actually, it, it was... <laughs> I wrote them. Why would you do that? You knew it was me. Don't you understand? It's my turn. You have everything. Just let me have it. I need this. I need to be good at something. No, I guess I don't understand. Of course not. Why would you? You aren't in the dark. You aren't in everyone's shadow like I am. Whose shadow are you in? My sister's, yours. Mine? How are you in my shadow? You don't even have to try. You're just so perfect. You get perfect grades, a picture-perfect family, and you come up with stupid, 
lyrics that you put up stupid sticky notes. Me, I'm just the perfect girl's best friend. You don't ever fall apart. I can't fall apart like you. I have to be your rock. I have to be the one who doesn't have negative feelings or a single dull moment in her life because I'm busy saving you from your feelings. <laughs> Just once, I wish someone would give me a chance to fall apart. Second of all, I'm anything but perfect. But if I do seem perfect at times, it's because I at least try and I make an effort to do things right, unlike you. Are you kidding me? I do everything I can to be a successful person. For my teachers, for my mother, my best just never seems to be good enough to be noticed. This is something that has been noticed. And as far as everyone knows, is mine. Doesn't it bother you that everything you'll be praised for isn't even really yours? No, and it shouldn't bother you either. It's time to share the spotlight, Piper. Enjoy the dark for a while. The dark where monsters hide. It is all pitch black, no light in sight. Unspoken secrets drew father's form. And now from nothing a star is born in the dark. Oh, in the dark. The silence is deafening. I can hardly see anything. The monsters, they've come from beneath my bed. They're all just trying to get in my head. I want to be more than just a shadow. Because I can't see with both my eyes closed. I'll be okay. I'll be okay in the dark. I'm in the dark. Maybe I just have to remind myself to hold me in the dark. Can we see the stars? I'm in the dark. I'm Natalie, I'm a cast member of Sticky Note, and I'm here with the writer, Eleni. We hope you remember to donate to our virtual Pass the Hat. Your donation makes a difference. Hello, I am Christy Brown, and I'm the Arts Education Director for the Springfield Arts Council, which means I'm lucky enough to run our Youth Arts Ambassadors program. Uh, the Youth Arts Ambassadors is a program for middle and high school students who have a love for the performing arts, whether that's on stage or off stage, and we try to find every opportunity we can for you to grow within your art. So we do have a few workshops throughout the year where you learn different performing arts skills as well as some backstage skills and some different performance opportunities. And with all of our musicals or plays, Youth Arts Ambassadors have the opportunity to serve backstage or on the production team. I'm so excited for you all to be watching Sticky Note right now because this is a brand new production, a brand new thing for our Youth Arts Ambassadors program uh, that our students actually wrote this production all by themselves. Um, Eleni Leonardos was the writer and Tim Compston wrote the music. 
And not only did they write the musical themselves, but then they went on and directed and music directed this show by themselves as well. And this is also our very first online production. Applications are available right now. You can go to our Facebook page at uh, facebook.com slash youth arts ambassadors or facebook.com slash Springfield Arts Council to find an application. Once you fill that out, go ahead and email it to yaa at springfieldartscouncil.org. If you have any questions about the program, feel free to send an email there as well, and we'll answer that as soon as we can for you. And this program has grown from two students to 75 in the last five years. So we hope we get some new people out there to come and join us. We're really excited for the 2020-2021 Youth Arts Ambassador season. Even though we aren't in Veterans Park, the Springfield Arts Council still needs your help. Donations are a vital part of the Summer Arts Festival. Make your virtual Pass the Hat donation at the link below. Every gift makes a difference, strengthens our community, and makes the healing power of the arts accessible to everyone. Please help support the Springfield Arts Council by making your Pass the Hat donation today. Thank you so much for watching. And now, here's Act Two of Sticky Note. We found out who it was, man, who would have guessed? The sticky notes were going on. Wow, are we impressed? Who are you, Regina? Still, we heard you do it. It all just kind of came to me. There's really nothing to it. These sticky notes are what we need it most. These sticky notes. Nothing. It's nothing. Just go. Hey, could you give me a pencil? Um, yeah, sure. You wanted to see me? Yeah. So, I was wondering if maybe you could help me write some lyrics for a couple of songs I'm working on. I, I know you were the one writing the sticky notes. They're phenomenal. So I thought we could work together on some lyrics to get things going. I thought Eva was doing that. Yeah, I thought so too. Eva, wait, I can explain. <laughs> what the heck, Titus? It's not what it looks like. Really? Because it looks like you're going behind my back to use more poppy the girl's lyrics because mine are taking too long for you, you impatient jerk. <laughs> well, maybe it is, but it's just, you know, we were getting nowhere. We just needed a little push. No, I didn't need a push. I just needed some more time. Yeah, time we don't have. Get it through your head that we don't as, have as much time as you think. You know what? Fine. Go right ahead. If you want to use her lyrics, that's perfectly fine. Sometimes it's better to have an enemy slap you in the face than a friend who stabs you in the back. The worst part being, you never know what to expect. Seriously, Piper? Why would you put this in my locker? You aren't me? Really? Why would you embarrass me like that? What are you talking about? I'm not the one writing the sticky notes. You are. It couldn't have been me. Why are you doing this to me? You're getting your turn in the spotlight. I'm getting a turn to fall apart. You picked your poison. You wanted attention. Here you go. Cause I've had my time to shine. No, 
only just want to fall apart. It's not mine, yes, I know that, but I can't take it back anymore. I'm in the spotlight. I am blinded. In the spotlight. There are no stars to be found. Mom, what's wrong? Are you okay? He's gone. Your stepfather left us. He just picked up all his things and left. What happened? We were arguing about something. Was it about me? I want you to be the person you want to be. And being a jock is not what you want to be. You wanted to go back to doing the things you love with Gwen. I tried to tell him that and he just couldn't get it through his thick skull. So maybe him leaving was for the better. This isn't your fault. Hey, I'm fine here. You can go outside with Gwen. Are you sure, Mom? I mean... Uh, really, it's okay. I can go home if you guys need some time. No, no, really. I'm fine. It's always a pleasure to have you around anyway, Gwen. Now you two go have fun. I am so sorry, AJ. I feel terrible. Uh... Don't. It's for the better. I don't have to pretend to be a jock and we can all go back to our nerdy things again. Uh, this is great. AJ, are you sure you don't need to talk? This is huge. No. Uh, this is great. I mean, I always hit my stepdad. My mom could do so much better. Do any of our friends have single dads? <laughs> okay, okay, I get it. See you later, stepdad, but give your mom a break. She doesn't need another man in her life just yet. Yeah, I know, I'm kidding. I think life will be better without him, though. Remember the good old days? Before my mom married that creep? Well, you were free to be the nerdiest guy I knew, so yeah, it was pretty great. Remember that time way back in the seventh grade When we made a book for and read in there all day Remember that time we made a rough out of sticks and rocks Like, like the, the time, time we made, made an RC car out of a cigar box Jinx! And oh, oh, oh it's good to be a nerd again Remember when we used to play hide-and-seek, like, every day? Yeah, the only time I won is when I tricked you. Gosh, that was great. Hey, no fair! No sweat, it's like the time I spilled milk all over my brand new shirt. How far could I forget? But you made it through the day. And man, you rocked that chocolate milk! And oh, oh, oh it's good to be a nerd again. to tomorrow, yeah, the bad times are washed away, no matter what could happen next, there ain't no time just like today, cause now we took the leap of faith, and we're standing here just fine, there's only one thing left to do, come on, we're running out of time, and oh, feels good to be a nerd again. And I'll look on 
to tomorrow Yeah, the bad times are washed away No matter what could happen next There ain't no time just like today Cause now we took the leap of faith That we're standing here just fine There's only one thing left to do Come on, we're running out of time Oh my gosh! I know exactly what the musical should be about. Well, what are you waiting for? Let's go! Cause oh, 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 feels good to be a crazy, quirky, geeky, weirdo, nerd again. Friends are there for you through the good times and the rough moments. They pick you up when you're falling down and lift you up higher, even when you're at the top of the world. Hey, so do you have anything for me yet? Uh, yeah. I thought life was going to be easy peasy lemon squeezy, but it turns out life is really difficult, difficult, lemon difficult. It's okay to fall apart sometimes. Tacos fall apart and we still love them. You are the one who wrote the sticky notes, right? Uh, yeah, sorry, just out of it. Stress and stuff. Yeah, stress and stuff. Can you give me something better once your life's not so difficult, difficult, love and difficult? Yeah. What are you doing here? I thought you were mad at me. I am, but I don't know what I'd do without my best friend. I'm so bored, and it's already been like three hours, so I've decided to forgive you early. Thank goodness. I was bored too, and I'm sorry, I shouldn't have done that. It's okay, but we should get working. Many people will walk in and out of your life, treading all over you. But only true friends can pass through leaving footprints on your heart. I'm done pretending to be you. Being good at everything is hard. Everyone's expecting perfection. I don't know how you deal with this every day. I'm not Piper. I'm Luna, and that's okay. But it's time the truth came out. I'm glad you finally realized that. I think, deep down, I knew you deserved the praise. But how are you going to convince people it's actually me? They've all been raving about your work. There's no way they'll believe you. I don't know. Maybe we're stuck living this lie forever? We'll just have to find some way to show them they're mine. But how? I've got it. Follow me. Oh my god, I was walking down the street and there was this- Attention, like, please! Okay, so I heard the, these rumors that oh, there were like, three girls who were going up. Lean, lean. They're both me. really talented and all, They're but like, I'm obviously better, but... Shut your mouths and listen! You all know about the sticky notes by now. You think you know who wrote them, but you don't. I wrote them. Luna just told everyone they were hers. And that's fine. She had her reasons, but... Liar! There's no way you wrote them. Yeah, nuh-uh. Stop! Just stop. I know you're all confused. You all thought I wrote them, but I didn't. I lied and stole the credit from her. Piper told me and I got jealous. So, I stole the credit. To try to be more like her. To try to have even a little bit as much talent as she does. But I realize that doesn't work. I'm not Piper, and that's okay. But pretending like what I did is, I couldn't apologize enough for her. She deserves all the credit. She truly is a genius. Piper is my best friend, and I would never want to hurt her. What I did wasn't right. But here I am telling you all now, please leave her. Piper is the nicest, caring person I've ever met. And she truly poured her heart and soul into these. I'm so sorry. It's okay, Luna. Bob Piper, that's so cool. Now, AJ, 
Gwen tells me you have an idea for the musical. I'm so glad you asked. I mean, I can't take all the credit, but it's a pretty amazing idea. Let's go. say perfection is the only way you're nothing if you're not the best don't let them hold you down and if you're lost just look around keep your chin up and sing it from your heart break the chain nobody's perfect Friend. I'll be there till our bitter end Through your thick and thin We'll keep rolling on I'm always there for you We'll be together through and through I'll lift you up higher than the clouds Break the chain Nobody's perfect if you have someone to put it together with. But what do we call it? Sticky note.
until we meet again. Happy trails to you. Keep smiling until then. Who cares about the clouds if we're together? Just sing a song and bring the sunny weather. Happy, Happy trails to you. Sorry that we'll be missing the Summer Arts Festival this year. But we're looking forward to seeing everyone in 2021. So happy trails to everyone until we meet again. Till we meet again. Till we meet again. Till we meet again. Next summer. Next summer. Next summer. Next summer. Thanks for watching. Join us online beginning Wednesday, July 15th at 5 p.m. for our virtual Sip of Summer. I'm Avery. I'm Elise. I'm Hazel. I'm passing the hat. I'm passing the hat. I'm passing the hat. Please, Please